welcome back to my second episode of Drugstore Week. This look is super natural but very glamorous at the same time because obviously we're glowing like a disco ball. We've got some false lashes on, the whole shebang. I love the way this look turned out. This is my second time filming and I'm so glad that I filmed this twice because the first time I just didn't love it. It wasn't quite right. I have so many amazing videos coming your way. I've filmed a lot of them already. I have like two more to go, but you know, I'm gonna post and edit as we go. I hope you guys are enjoying these as much as I am, although it's been very stressful, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this look. So as usual, I have my moisturizer and a little bit of uh, primer around my pores. I've got larger pores, so I have to do that. I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I'm going in with this L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is the True Match Lumi cushion, which I think is perfect for more of a natural glam. My shade is in 5.5, W5.5, only because I'm super tanned. I got a spray tan, which is why my neck and like my body is so much darker than my face. I do like to use a kabuki brush, to be honest, just because it's so much faster. And if you're doing this look to save time for, you know, work or whatever it is, then I recommend using a kabuki brush. But of course, it does come with a sponge um, that works really well as well. See how now this kind of like matches my neck, but of course it's so much darker than my natural skin color. I have a video about how to match or how to find your perfect foundation match. I'll link that down below because there's like a lot of people still don't know where to actually match their foundation to, whether it's the neck, the body. Um, and so I think that if you're confused, definitely check out that video. It's really, really informative. So for my concealer, I'm going with something a lot lighter so that it kind of balances out that darkness that we have going on, even though this sort of matches my overall body. Um, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10. I have this in number 20 as well, but again, I want it to be kind of light so that it sort of conceals, highlights, and balances out the foundation color. I'm gonna let this sit on my skin a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with this NYX Cosmetics um, Highlight and Contour Stick. This stick totally reminds me of the Kim Kardashian one. I mean, the shape and how small it is, it totally reminds me of hers. I'm gonna use the darker shade and contour the hollows of my cheeks. And then the usual forehead, sides of my nose to really narrow it down. And I always like to put some on the tip and just like that. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of contour on the crease. So now that I look like a clown, let's go ahead and blend this in place. I always like to blend the lighter colors first. Honestly, you can use a kabuki brush to blend, but I think that when you're going so heavy on the highlight and contour, especially with cream products. I recommend a beauty blender or something like it. There are a lot of beauty blender dupes from the drugstore and I will try to find some and link it down below. I'm gonna set my makeup in place using a translucent powder. This one is the CoverGirl powder. I filmed this sort of like not really in order, so later on you'll see me use this powder for the first time, but that's because I filmed that first if that makes any sense. For my highlighter, I am gonna go in with this Makeup Revolution London Skin Kiss Highlighter. It's more of a lighter shade, and this one is called Ice Kiss. I'm gonna apply this on the high points of my cheeks and blend it up. It's a really beautiful highlighter, as you can see. It's got tons of shimmer, and I chose a lighter shade. Normally, I'll go with something a little bit more yellow, golden, um, but because I'm so tanned, I kind of want the highlighter to pop, which is why I chose this color. A little bit above the eyes, and then the center of the face. I'm gonna go over the bronzer a little bit with a powder bronzer. This is a palette by Pixi, and it is the collaboration that they had with Miriam, the influencer. It is so beautiful. It has one blush, two highlighters, and then a bunch of bronzers. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade over here. It's a really nice warm tone. And I'm just gonna kinda go over that bronzer and blend it in. It, this is just gonna kinda like warm that up a little more and give it that sun-kissed look. And then picking up the blush color and just popping that right on the apples of the cheeks. This has a little bit of shimmer, so I'm not gonna put too much not to accentuate my pores, larger pores, but just a little bit. I cannot find a good brow product in the drugstore and it's driving me nuts. 
I have this NYX eyeliner and actually it says it's an eyeliner and a brow pencil so I'm gonna actually attempt to put this on my brows. See how warm that is? Like that is not like that. It just doesn't work. I'm gonna pick up this NYX Cosmetics palette and picking up this shade over here which is a gray, matte gray shade. Cancel out that orange that that pencil gave me. So for my eyes, I'm going in with this Pixi palette and this was actually part of the same collaboration. So I got this all in the same sort of like um, package. And so this is another collaboration that they did with It's Judy Time, another influencer. So picking up that shade over here and applying it on my crease. I got a new lens, as you can see, we're up close and personal because I know that a lot of you guys wanna see the tutorials a little bit more up close. So. This is a 100 millimeter lens, in case you're wondering. Next, I'm gonna grab this color over here and just apply that on the crease as well. So just really warming up that crease. Next, I'm gonna pick up the gold shade in the palette and just apply this on the entire eyelids. I'm gonna go back to the highlighter that I used on my face, pick up a little bit of that and pop it right on the inner corners. I'm gonna go back to that reddish copper color. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the bottom lash line, smoke it out, warm it up, so that it kind of matches the top as well. And then I'm gonna use this color over here, which is a warm, soft brown. And then again, just go over the bottom lash line and just the crease as well. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line using this NYX black eyeliner. I'm gonna use the new L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Everyone is raving about this. I'm gonna pop on some individual lashes. So as you can see, the false lashes definitely make a statement. I'm gonna finish off the look with this Revlon lip gloss and this is in number 255. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and of course, do share on your end as well. Um, and also, if you're part of my 24-hour club, I love you so much, and this entire week is gonna be so much fun. I think I'm gonna pick two winners instead of one throughout the series, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have the link down in the description box, as well as a link to all of the products that I used today in this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye, guys. I'm gonna say that again in case it was way too long. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Let's try it again. You know, there are so many uh, beauty blender wannabes or lookalikes or dupes. There you go, dupes is the word. Bro. Holy moly matrimony, we're up close and personal.